This is one of these little eBay modules that you think, yeah, it looks quite interesting, could be useful, and you buy it to check out. And it just turns out to be such a really clever little device that you're really impressed. And I'm very impressed in this. It's a thermostat, an electronic thermostat, and this one came, it's very widely available from lots of suppliers um, on eBay. This one, I ended up buying it in Canadian dollars just because, well, that's the listing that came up. Uh, and it came from Dia in the Box, uh, D-E-A in the Box. Um, and as I say, they're very, very common. Uh, if you look for the digital temperature control module, you'll find these just all over eBay. And it's either available quite cheaply, just as the bare board, or you can also get with it a sort of, uh, I'm guessing, laser cut? I'm not 100% sure, because at the top it does, it, it's maybe been laser cut, then it's had uh, my, um, not cut in my turn, countersunk holes drilled. So that this plate can go over the top here, and then you get this uh, self-adhesive overlay, which then goes over the top and gives it a nice sort of um, finish, and it, it does look quite smart. I like the fact it's got all these digital readouts and... Uh, it's very simple because it's just got two up down, two sets of up down buttons. So, um, as with these things, it comes with the protective films. It came with protective film both sides of this plastic, and of course, it comes with the protective film over the display, which I shall uh, try and remove now. This uh, film serves a couple of functions, I think, with these displays. It protects it during uh, shipping and handling and processing. And also, when it's being manufactured, I think it's applied in advance before they fill these with resin from the back in the little LED modules, because you can see where the plastic's been pulled in as the resin uh, contracted as it cooled, and it just stops the resin flowing out the front. It seems quite a sensible approach. So in operation, this is very clever. It's only got one relay and one set of contacts, but it can, do, it can act as both a heating thermostat and a cooling thermostat. And the way it does that is you've got the start temperature and the stop temperature. So, for instance, if you wanted to, say, um, use it as a heating thermostat, you could set this one to 18 degrees centigrade and the off temperature to 20 degrees centigrade so that it would bring a heater on when it was too cold, as it is at the moment, and it's brought it on. And it knows that you're using it as a heating thermostat because the start temperature is lower than the end temperature. And if I heat that up now, you, you get the continuous display of the temperature on the middle display here. I'm not sure how well this will be showing up. I'll shroud it around like that. If I heat that up now with my fingers, you'll see as the temperature uh, goes up to 20, it'll then cut off. 17, 18, 19. And it's cut off because it's reached the target temperature. And this also means that that, couple, that doubles up as a hysteresis value, that instead of programming a separate hysteresis value, all I've done is I've allowed two degrees centigrade between them, two of the temperatures. Very clever, very neat, very simple. But supposing I wanted to use it as a cooling thermostat instead of a heating one, all I'd do there is I'd say that, for instance, I wanted it to uh, start at 22 degrees centigrade and stop at 20. And now... When the temperature goes above 22, it will turn on the cooling. It's very simple. It's got other features as well. Uh, if the therm thermistor goes out of range or you unplug it, it sets off a little alarm and displays L until it's plugged in again. And really, there's not much else to say about it. That's just how simple it is. It gives the continuous real-time temperature uh, reading, the on temperature and the off temperature, whether it's heating or cooling. It's just really, really simple. Um, what else can I say about this? Right, OK, let's take a look at the circuitry. So I'll just unplug it here from the power. Turn that off. It comes, incidentally, if you get this panel, it comes with uh, hardware for mounting it as well, for not just mounting the module onto the back of this, but also for mounting uh, this onto a panel, which before you put the screws through the panel and then you stick this on. So if you kind of mess up that way, um, it's kind of like a, a one-way trip. You'd have to sort of get a complete replacement front panel because you'd have to peel it off otherwise. But, you know, in most instances, if you were putting this in a panel, the only time you're ever going to remove it, if it was, is if it was faulty. So looking at the circuitry, uh, the separation, the relay contacts are quite generous tracks here on the back and there's also anti-tracking slots around the common pin on the relay here 
Uh, so it's, it's, it's being sensible, it's keeping good separation. The terminals are these little clamp down ones, these little screw down plates, which are quite widely used in industrial equipment, so they're pretty good. The circuitry, uh, the 12 volt supply comes in and immediately goes through a polarity protection diode to a smoothing capacitor and then there's a little uh, AMS 1117 5 volt regulator over here for generating the 5 volts for this. I guess the relay, yep, the relay is 12 volts, it's just operating direct off the supply here. There's a tiny little ST microcontroller, which I'm not going to give you the number of it because it's one of those tiny processors with such a huge number for all the different options that it's absolutely unreadable. It's, they've crammed just a little bit too much text in and it's also slightly scuffed, which makes it quite hard to read. The chip next to it is a standard uh, high-speed CMOS chip. It's a uh, 74HC164 and it's a serial to parallel converter and they're very clearly using that. Uh, the fact it's directly leading to these uh, 330 ohm resistors. That's very clearly the segment drive for the digital displays. And the microcontroller will be driving the selecting the displays individually, so that it's effectively scanning across uh, the common for these displays from the microcontroller itself, and then just driving them through this little serial to parallel converter to drive the actual data. Um, very simple. It's not running the display at super high intensity, so the microcontroller and that little buffer chip there can deal with all the sort of current requirements of the display. The little uh, buzzer has a little. Uh, it's a drive transistor here, and it's just fed directly from the microcontroller. As does the relay have its drive transistor down here, and a little uh, back EMF protection diode. And really, it's just a textbook design. The only thing I'd wonder is how reliable it's... Uh, not reliable, uh, well, reliability has to be tested yet. But having said that, it, it's so simple, there's not a huge amount to go wrong. The software doesn't have menus, it doesn't have anything like that, so really... There's much less to go wrong in the first place, uh, much less to actually even crash in the processor, if not less likely to be software issues. It's not got a calibration facility for the probe. I'm not sure how accurate these probes are, but again, if you're using it in a sort of mission critical application, I suppose that you could manually add that offset. If this, you, this was a set and forget type temperature, you could compare it to a more accurate uh, temperature sensor and then uh, just I just nudge it up one or two degrees or down one or two degrees. I'm not sure how accurate this is. Um, having said that, it's a fairly simple setup. So I'm guessing it's as as accurate as the sensor's going to be if it's a calibrated sensor. But yes, it, it's a nice little unit. It's very nice. Um, simple, chunky, nice display. And the the fact it selects whether it's heating or cooling is just one of the nicest features. It's just really smart. It's also worth mentioning that the little uh, LED, red LED that shows them that's actually active, what, what do they call it? They call it work, and uh, and the green LED for stop, which basically shows from the relays on, they've got their own little uh, holes cut through this faceplate so that they shine through onto the membrane keypad too. But yeah, it's a nice little thing. I really, really like this.